So I just wanted to welcome you buddies back to more of Detroit Become Human. Uh, really been an amazing game. Got nothing but admiration up to this point. And I don't want to waste much of this intro, guys. Thank you buddies for the support. And let's play this, bud. Alright buddy, uh, the brief with Hank. Hold on, bud. Looks like we got something in here. Wait a minute, bud. Why is it marked red in here, man? Uh, is this kind of blocked? Look at that thing. Let me just try. Okay, talk to Hank. <laughs> it's a warning, buddy. Let me go this way then. So the guy's just right there. Chilling, maybe, or just want to be alone. Wait a minute, bud. We got something in here. Okay, what happened to the man of the century, Mr. Kamsky? Okay, let me read this one quietly first, buddy. All right. So he is the CEO of CyberLife, huh? The one who created the Android Sun um, begins 2018. When commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups, a college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Buy Components. Heading to the page 2. Okay. What about the next one? Anyway. Nice reading, bud. What's next now? Oh my god, what a nice view here, man. Well, even me, I love to chill out here. Anyway. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Okay, um, personal question. Stop drinking before. Go back. Why well, need to go back? What a lame choice, I guess. Before what? Hmm? You said. I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before. Before nothing. He is hiding something. Anyway, um. Gotta chose the first one. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Okay, um, how about a suicide? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger so I kill myself a little every day that's probably difficult for you to understand huh Connor nothing very rational about it we're not making any progress on this investigation the deviants have nothing in common they're all different models produced at different times in different places? Well, there must be some link. RA9 system software. Obviously the first one. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Oh, come on. Top choices in here. 
Rational, ironic, cold, deviance. How about the first? They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Tough question, buddy. Anyways, um, gotta go with neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Ah, uh, gotta go with truth or lie. Anyways. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Oh my god, yes, no, not alive, logical. How about yes in here? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hank's anger. How about the second one? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right, buddy. Um, access 47th floor. Wait a minute, buddy. Request access at reception. What do we have here? Anyway, let me proceed. Feels like we're starting now. Protest here, bud. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Alright, distract human supervisor. 
Uh, what am I supposed to do? Wait a minute, bud. Okay, we got five clues in here. Gotta need to analyze. Wilson Emily. That's the daughter. Smartwatch. Nice. Elizabeth Wilson. Desk manager. Not just a supervisor, man. Alright, parking badge. Floor 3, spot A21. Home address. Okay. Looks like I get it now. Um. Let me try to call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. I should be choosing the school, man. Alright, looks like we are clear now. Here we go. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. <laughs> that was so awesome. Pass the security now. Alright. I kind of forgot instruction, man. Okay, use the elevator. Wait a minute, buddy. We got something in here. What is this area? Extra salivator, um... Now what? Just gonna need to wait? Alright, here we go. Alright, find package in man's bathroom. Should be somewhere here. Hold on, bud. I don't want to miss a thing here, man. Okay. Let me go this way. Wait a minute. Um. Okay, this is the control room. Where's the man's bathroom in here? Wait a minute, bud. Who's this douche? Studio One. Okay, the newsroom now. You can't be busy. Just checking out everyone here. Oh my god. I'm on the camera, man. Looks like this is it. Well, who put the package in here? Got some vibes of Michael Schofield in here, buddy. 
calling it, bud. Um, exit the bathroom now. Now what? Uh, what's next? Find utility android. Wait a minute, buddy. Should be somewhere here, right? I saw him earlier. Let me just go this way. Where are you, buddy? Well, all of the people here are kind of busy. I just really don't know if uh, we also have some Android newscaster in here. That would be something cool, I guess. Okay, looks like that's it. Wait a minute, bud. Got a magazine in here. What do we have here? Crazy shit. Department of Defense poised to order 50,000 Android troopers. Seriously, man. This is so fucking crazy now. I just really wonder if uh, we're gonna have this kind of, you know, this kind of stuff uh, in the near future. That would be so crazy in my opinion. So what now? Where am I supposed to find that? Um, utility android? That might be him. Hold on, bud. He's just inside this newsroom. I need your help. Alright, nice. Still maintenance cart. Alright, open fire escape. Where my dad be? Hold on, bud. Let me scan this area. Well, there's no indication. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, let me just try to head this way then. Problem is, I'm caught in the camera right now. Wait a minute, buddy. This might be it. Oh, not this one, man. Okay, looks like that's it. Found you now. Well, I think it's okay. I've been caught in the camera since I've been dressed like this. Well, man, um, we might be kind of obvious in this kind of stuff. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Now what? Um, attract guards away from the door? How am I supposed to do that one? Hey. You still play poker? Wait a minute. Let me hack this one. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the back. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Cut the windows. Well, this is so tough, man. Let me lock this one. Alright, nice. Now what? Okay. Let me take this.
we got something like the mechanic scene here. Hell yeah. Here it comes. Ladies first. Oh my god, this is so awesome, buddy. You scroll to ascend, nice. Climbing up now. This shit. What a pretty really nice view, buddy. Even though it's been covered with uh, snow. Well, the style of this game is really interesting, but honestly, I'm kind of really entertained um, playing the game at the same time. Makes me more excited to play this one each and every day, but. Alright, um, call service lift. Nice. I just really wonder if we're going to have some romance in here, either from North or Marcus, or even Kara. Okay, it's not accessible. Let me go this way. Let's do this. Alright, um, destroy maintenance door lock. Might be it. <laughs> I went to the store immediately, man. Not paying attention to the details, but... Alright, now what? Get to the main access corridor. Hold on, bud. Okay, nothing special. Just gotta need to proceed in this door. Deal with the guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Oh, tough question. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? Man, I really wanted to impress North, but I don't want to kill these guys. Okay. Sorry, darling. I can't do what you want. Finally, we can proceed now. Wait a minute. Here we go, but getting inside. Keep your hands where I 
can see them! Get up! Move! God, what am I supposed to do here? Anyway. No. There was no other choice. Sorry, Josh. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Wait a minute, bud. Um. Okay. Start a speech now. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Calm or determined? Here we go. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Uh, what am I supposed to choose here? Equal rights, end of slavery. Let me go to the first one. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand control of all android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. What a beautiful speech, man. Am I missing something here? Okay. Gotta keep it going, buddy. But the way you speak, man, is kind of a bit off, I guess. In my opinion. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. Alright, time to jump now. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody 
everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? All right, we are back here. Find Amanda. There she is. I really think that Amanda is the, the one who created the androids. Um, before I read the magazine telling that Kamsi is the one who created all of this. But then I went wrong. Just uh, that leaves me a thought that Amanda is also an android in this game. Anyway, gotta be proceeding here. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? All right, um, Hank, Eden Club. Let me go to the second one. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Okay, I'm sincere, determined, cold, troubled. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. 